When you're working on a sloped site like this, one of your concerns, of course, is water when you get a heavy rain, such as we did last night. Now, it's made the construction site a pretty much a muddy mess today. And one of your concerns, of course, building a new house is to protect the building from that kind of water damage. Around on the other side of the house, Robin is working on controlling just that exact problem. We're at the point in construction where we're ready to waterproof our foundation walls, and that's exactly what we're going to do with Steve Chicones here. Tell me why we need to waterproof the foundation walls. We need to protect the inside of the house from moisture damage. Mm -hmm. um, waterproofing is a whole different animal than damp proofing. Damp proofing lets the penetration of water through the damp proofing product into your interior block wall, concrete wall, and or styrofoam wall. We need to educate the home public to say that they want waterproofing. Why is that? Well, one of the most affordable living spaces in a house is the basement. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper to finish off. It's a third of the cost of the whole house. Um, and most small families have children or buying houses that they can finish basements off. A nice little playroom. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I see that you're cleaning off this area here. Tell me, what's our first step? Well, we need to clean the footing off so we get good bond. When I spray, I'll spray down mm -hmm. and onto the footing about four inches so any water that comes down will roll off. I'll put a drain board on the wall, mm -hmm. and then they will put their exterior drain tile, which is what they have here. I had to clean back because we started this job last week. Um, that'll roll around, and all the water will flow to it. Okay, let's start. Okay. Okay. is putting down a waterproofing membrane. In this case, it's called a Marcoat 5000. And what it is, is a polymer. It's a mix of asphalt and rubber. Mix at a very high temperature and then spray it onto these foundation walls. Now, after one or two years, your house is going to settle. And that means you could have some cracks in your foundation walls. This membrane will cover up any of those cracks to prevent any water from seeping through into your basement. Now we're going to put this aqua board into place. And Steve, if you could tell us a little bit about what the aqua board is. The aqua board's a mineral board, uh -huh. mineral wool. What it does is, uh, the first thing it does is protect my coatings, um, especially on a styrofoam foundation. Um, it's very rigid coating, but if a rock were to fall, it would cut my, my material. Um, on a concrete foundation or block foundation, I don't need to protect it. This adds water drainage. So any water caught in the substrate in the soil mm -hmm. drains through the soil, hits the board, uh -huh. runs down to your exterior drain tile, which we'll be doing after we apply all the board. So you have a drain tile down here mm -hmm. that takes all the water away from the house. Yes. And that is crucial. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what we're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have a lot of work to do here, and later on, people are going to come in here and backfill this whole area, but we have a lot of waterproofing to do. <laughs> we should get to work. Yes.